Hey Tribe, welcome to the HG Designs Crochet HGDC podcast. I'm Heather, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back, and if you're brand new, hello. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, HG Designs Crochet, and Twitter, HG Designs Crochet, um, I also host the HGDC Makers Moment on Wednesday at 9pm GMT. All the details are on my blog and linked below. It'd be lovely to see you there. And I think that's all of my little announcements. So let's get started. Today is Good Friday, the morning of, and I wanted to just do a little video to show all of my little pile here of things I plan on working on or finishing this weekend. Um, I'm going to take it quite slow this weekend because I'm recovering from some sort of virus that I picked up at work, um, sore chest, sore throat, and just generally I'm tired, and I can see, <laughs> I'm tired, but I have lots and lots planned, so let me get started. Um, first thing to show you, oh I'm torn. Let's go with the socks. Okay, so first thing to show you is the socks that I've started. Now I'm halfway through a row, I know I need to take them back, so I've left it as is. Um, so, so far I've got the toes, let me tell you about them. The yarn is Holly Fern by Homespun Wonders. Um, this was actually part of my December sock box, and I have. Um, it up. I hand wound this earlier in the week, I wasn't feeling very well and didn't want to stand and wind it downstairs so I did it in bed. Probably took me longer but it actually felt good. So it was a 100 gram skein which I've split down. Um, it is, I think it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon but I've left the tag, or oh, have I? Mm, I've got it. That's her tag, and it is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it was in the colourway Holly Fern, which was part of my Christmas box. Um, then I'm using my Knit Prings, Knit, Knit Pring, <laughs> Knit Zing Pros. These are my 2.5 mils. Um, they've got a 60 or 80 meter centimeter cable because I do two at a time and then I've got my progress keeper charm so this is my mermaid um, stitch marker and this was part of my launch box um, maybe back in October 2017 which was mermaid themed and I've put it on these socks and that was by Esme's buttons. So the toe is my version of a rounded toe and um, so I've cast on 12 on each needle and then I work my toe pattern um, which is on the first round you make one, knit one make one sorry and then on then you knit and then the next round make knit three make one and same on the end and then knit and uh, it produces this toe and I also on these intend to put in my own pattern which I swatched for so I really like the eyelet knit lace I swatched but I haven't blocked so I really like the eyelet lace um, out there patterns at the moment so I decided to swatch for this one which is really pretty um, and I wanted that on my socks but I also want to put a cable in so I did this little dinky swatch can you see it's got a cable at the end with the lace in the middle and another cable and I want that to run up my foot and up the front of my ankle um, so I've worked out my stitches, I've worked out, I've done all the maths 
and all I need to do is just crack on with the pattern. Unfortunately, knitting with this brain fog, I've made a few mistakes, I've ripped back numerous times, um, and I should have put the pattern in on this one, and I haven't, so I'm going to take it back. I just need to double check my stitches, because I've not long frogged. So, my plan for this weekend is to get up to the heel on these socks. I'm really, really enjoying the green. I've never, no, I haven't used green yet. Um, and I'm quite liking that it's like a solid. Um, and actually the colour's just really nice. And yes, it was my Christmas box, but you can use green all year round. So hopefully I will be able to show you these on Monday slash Tuesday and have a good section of the pattern worked up. So that's project number one. Let's put them back in their bag. I'm just using my, um, oh dear. She is too fond of books and it has turned her brain. I can't read backwards today. And it's got my pins from EYF, which I've vlog vlogged about already. Yak, Edinburgh Yarn Festival 2018, and 10 points to the Gryffindor from the Harry Potter shop in Edinburgh. Now I've worked out my own pattern and I've wrote that down in my bullet journal. So hopefully once I um, make some progress, I can let you know how I found the whole designing process and making process. Um, now my other project, is another knitting project and it's this Eat Me sweater. Oh, sorry, that's the needle. So, the last I showed you, I was up to the elbow, elbow deep with sleeves, and I'm still at the same place. I haven't put anything onto those. Um, so, I've got the front and the back pieces. Oh, made up. Um, I just need to do the sleeves and work out how to put it together and do the neck. So my plan is hopefully to get the sleeves done. The sleeves will be done by the end of this weekend, and then to start sewing them together um, and have a completed item. And I want to push through with this because it's going to be the basis for which I work out the maths for a jumper design that I've got in mind. So I need this so that I can work out, oh sorry, I'm just making all the noise. So I can work out sizing. So that is the next project. Um, I don't actually think I'll ever wear that sweater. I'm not that keen on the colour, it was just gifted yarn and I wanted to use it and it was the quantity to make a sweater so it's um, Aaron and I think, I can't remember the tag name but I know that this was bamboo, the colourway was bamboo um, and it's just a beige with a cream mix, um, I don't think it's that a flattering colour for me to wear Hold it up to your face. I don't know. I'll see when it's on, see what the fit's like. It's going to be a very cropped sweater, which is what I prefer. So we'll see what that's like when I've done it. Drop a swatch. Um, and then I can get cracking on my other jumper that I've got in mind that I want to design using those measurements and then one more project crochet of course my love um, so in this bag I should have said this is the eat me sweater from the eat me blog it's a free pattern and I'm using my 9mm glitter Addies, and I have spoken about those on previous vlogs and it's all on my blog so next project crochet um, 
I said a few podcasts back that I have about 400 of these squares waiting to be remade um, from a project that didn't go so well and I have recently started remaking the squares and my question on that vlog um, my last crochet vlog actually, so a couple of weeks ago, was should I put all of the pinks together or should I carry on making them multicoloured um, because originally it was one huge blanket and I'm not making another huge blanket. I want to make maybe two or three smaller ones um, and my question was should I make the smaller ones all of the outer colours complement each other so all the pinks and all the purples and the general answer was yes so I have split down quite a few there's some random colours in here um, because I was working on them for another blanket but the majority in there are pink so all of these sorts of shades are going together so there's a neutral beige the pinks the lilacs and I'm going to put them together in either a bright pink or a bright purple um, I'm not decided but I think there's going to be about I don't know maybe 50 or 60 squares of this colour which is which is big in itself. Um, so originally they were worked in a 5mm needle uh, hook, sorry, crochet, foggy brain and um, they're just sim a simple three round and they're all DK weight yarns though there's some cotton blends in there um, but as I was a new crochet when I started them I made the mistake of not sewing in the ends properly and when I sewed them all up into a big blanket the stress of it was causing them to fall apart so I'm reworking them I have taken a number of them and reworked them in a 3 mil hook to give me enough spare uh, tail to sew the ends in correctly and just to make it a bit tighter. So I've got a fair wedge of these done. Um, I do really like the yellow pop, just to cheer me up. Um, I've done, there's a lot of them with tails that need sewing. Um, and then there's a lot of them in here that have been, that have been sewn. Though so there's definitely more tails than not tails. So my plan for this weekend is to get um, the majority of these ends sewn in. Though that now seems daunting. It won't take too long. Um, and then just lay them out and see what sort of size project we're looking at. And play around with joining colours um, just to see what combinations I can make and how how large it's going to be. Um, I've also had a suggestion, thank you very much, from a lovely subscriber who said I could make a purse or a pouch out of them, um, which I might do and I could line it. So it's another idea so if I feel adventurous and want to get out of bed and because I would like to do some sewing I would like to make a project bag and I could always put some of these together to make I'd quite like a really big project bag that I could put I don't have anything large enough to put um, like my sweaters in my jumpers the only large thing I'm using really are these bags from the wool warehouse delivery. So I could make something large enough to, maybe, I don't know, or would I be happy walking around with a huge crochet project bag? Yeah, why not? 
I could make an absolutely huge project bag. So let's see how I'm feeling. Maybe I could just set a sewing machine table up next to my bed. <laughs> so I've got three projects that I'm planning on working on. Um, I want to get my Eat Me sweater as close to finished as possible. So sleeves sewn, uh, finished knitting and start on the sewing. Now it depends how foggy my brain is, I might not want to start anything too new. I've never done that before. I want to get up to the heel on my new socks, which don't have a name yet either. So maybe once I've shown you the design, you can help me pick a name. And then crochet, lots and lots of crochet. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you a nice neat stack of squares. There are some that I've sewn the ends in on though. I'm just struggling to find them. <laughs> no, here they are. I've just left the outer edges um, because I will sew those in as I join them together to catch them up. Um, so I want this pile of sewn to be bigger than this pile of to sew by the end of the weekend. So it's Friday today, hopefully you'll see me again in a few days time to let you know how my progress is. If not, I'll let you know on my next upload, which is usually Fridays. Have a lovely weekend, enjoy your making. I hope you have lots and lots of chocolate and um, if you're not feeling well like me, lots and lots of rest and I will see you soon. Happy making. Bye.